So our very last notes for vision are going to be on color and color blindness because there's some very um, interesting things that happen with color blindness that we need to know and some different theories about how we actually perceive color. So the first thing we're going to talk about with color is color in the form of light or wavelengths. So two different types of color missing, uh, mixing. So there's two basics, so you can have subtractive or additive color mixing. So subtractive color is when um, you're actually putting together like colors of paint, right? So this is, think of like in your art class or just like as a kid, you would take different colors and put them together. And if you put like all the colors together and mix them, they made brown. Um, but additive color mixture, this is when we're combining different colors of light. And that's very different than coloring or putting together colors of paint, right? So they're talking about pigment here and light here. So additive color mixture with light is when you combine different types of light of different language, of wavelengths, you can actually create um, the perception of new color. So what you have here, um, these are not like the um, primary colors you learned in middle school or, or elementary school where you mix things together. But look at this light here. So I have a yellow light here. Um, or like a, a greenish light. Sorry, this is my red and this is my blue. So if I put my red and my green together, it actually makes a yellow type of light. If I put my red and my blue together, it makes a purple type of light. And if I put my green and my blue together, I make this like cyan color, okay? Uh, you won't need to know or memorize the, the additive, but you will need to know the difference between um, additive uh, colors like with light and then subtractive with, um, with pigment, all right? Um, so now let's talk about a different uh, theory of color vision and this is called the trichromatic theory so tri meaning three chrome meaning color theory so researchers researchers found that by mixing three primary lights together so red green and blue they could create perceptual experiences of all possible colors so all those three different types of colored light coming together could create all the different colors that we see so you need to know these people's names so this is young and Helmholtz they came up with a theory to propose that we have three different types of photoreceptors in our eyes, and each one of those receptors must be responsible for a different wavelength. Okay, so by taking those three different um, wavelengths of light, there must be three different receptors in our eyes, and that's why we're able to perceive all these different colors. All right, so Young and Helmholtz, their trichromatic theory of color. So this is the trichromatic theory again. So I take those three different types of lights that we have coming in and I'm able to perceive all different colors because I have receptors for those in my brain. Now color vision. There's some people that are color blind and that might be very different. When I think color blind when I was little I just thought that they couldn't see any colors. But actually the most common form of color blind or inability to see um, colors is of red or green. Okay, so right here, if you are not colorblind, you should be able to see the number 12. And if you're able to see the number 8 here, you are not colorblind. All right, but some people cannot tell the difference between certain colors. So a color deficient vision, so people who suffer from red-green, the most common form, have trouble perceiving this number in the middle, okay, because it's green and blue in color and it's surrounded by red. So they can't see the 71. And we'll talk about why here in a second. Now, that is different, or so the trichromatic theory, this is different from the opponent processing theory of color vision. All right, so my trichromatic says like I, have, I have three different um, receptors of wavelengths and I'm able to put all these colors together. Now, there's some aspects of our color vision that are not described easily by that trichromatic um, alone. So that's where this opponent processing theory came in. So there's something called after images we'll look at here in just a second and those are not um, described by the trichromatic theory and what the after images are saying is that like if you are um, your eye is constantly firing at a certain um, color that you get this after image afterwards okay so let me go back down here real quick okay so here's my opponent processing theory so my opponent processes theory says that if red is on in my retina, so if I'm like staring at something red, and when it turns off, I'll see green, and then do the opposite. So if I'm staring at something green, when I look away, I'll see something red. Blue and yellow go together, and then black and white. So I still have this like three type of receptors, red, green, blue, yellow, black, white, but I get these after images um, afterwards, okay? 
So here's opponent, opponent processing after image. So here's what you're going to do. I'm not going to let you, I want you to pause the screen and I want you to look in the center of this flag for about a minute. So count to um, 60 in your head and then I want you to stare at this dot over here and tell me what you see. And so pause your uh, screen and do that and then do the same thing here. Stare at the center of this dot right get your face really f close up like that and freaky um, and uh, then stare at this over here so for an, about a minute stare at that image and then look at the dot here and then you can do the same thing with here so um, black and white and see what you see over here alright so the opponent processing theory accounts for phenomena like after images and um, the guy that associated with this herring proposed that we have two different types of opponent cells we have red green and then blue yellow all right, and then we have that black white, the rod cones. So my red green oppose each other. So if I'm seeing red afterwards, I'll see green. If I'm seeing blue afterwards, I'll see yellow, and then vice versa. And our current view of color vision is actually a combination of both these theories. That I have this trichromatic theory of lights um, subtracting would be put together, and then I have the opponent processing theory as well. So our current view is that it kind of marries the two theories, the opponent processing and the trichromatic. Okay, now what that has to do with um, processing information in our cortex. So we actually have um, that like kind of, what is that called from the beginning, top-down process. Sometimes when we um, perceive or we know that something's going to be a certain color, our brain tends to keep it that way. So that's called color constancy. So I perceive familiar objects as having consistent colors, even if the wavelength changes. So if I'm looking at... Um, Oh, something in the dark that I know is supposed to be green, like a tree, my brain is more likely to perceive it being green even though maybe the wavelengths have changed. So it's that top down, I'm looking for it to be green so I can see it to be green. That's called color constancy. Now our eye is um, kind of like a camera. I want you to start kind of putting this into perspective. So if our eye is like a camera, but instead of catching light with a film, we catch it with our retina, so the uh, cells on our retina. Our cone is what allowed us to see those spine facial details, and our rods help us see in dim lights. And our color vision is based off of the presence of those three types of cones, um, each one which is sensitive to a certain wave uh, range of wavelengths. Okay, so think about having like in the beginning, um, cameras just were black and white, so they just had rods and cones. And now we have these really fancy cameras that kind of are attuned to all these different colors because they're actually catching those different wavelengths. All right. So just as a review, the Young helps try um, Young. I'm sorry, Helmholtz trichromatic theory. That's where we have the red, green, blue, and people are colorblind to certain colors. And then the opponent processing is where we have sets of colors. So red, green is together, blue, yellow is together, black, white. And you really need to know that after images are associated with the opponent processing. And this monochromatic vision and the dichromatic vision is because of this tricolor theory. Now, I'm going to go back up to this uh, slide really quick so you can see the uh, trichromatic. So color blindness, if I can, hold on just a I skipped over this slide so I wanted to go back. So here's the different types of color blindness. So this right here is going to look at, sorry, um, someone who is color blind that, I'm sorry, someone who's not color blind. Okay, so this is an image here of someone who if is, has completely normal uh, vision, well, will see this uh, balloon in all these different colors and they should see the number 12 and see the number 3 okay then if we look over here this is going to be a photo and chips as seen by a red green blind person so this is the most common type of color blindness is to be red green so they still see colors but they're not seeing the reds that you see over here and the greens that they see over here so this is what that number might look like down the bottom corner here Okay, Ms. Anderson just came in my room and I'm confused now. I think I left off right here. So this is going to be a photo, same photo as right here, but now this is someone who's yellow-blue colorblind. So now look at the colors that are gone. So I can see the red and the green, but those blue and yellow are gone. And then down here, this is the uncommon form um, of colorblind. So someone who is um, by totally colorblind person, this is what it would look like. See how there's still colors and shades and grays and um, kind of like this yellowish color so I always imagine that someone who's colorblind would be completely like just see black and white but they see all these shades as well okay um, what's important to know about these pictures is really just the opposite 
colors. So yellow, blue, red, green, and then the black, white all together. And again, make sure you know the difference between the trichromatic theory and the opponent processing theory of colorblind. Vision is done. Now let's go on to hearing. Have a good day.